Hey guys, um, I'm making this little video because I think uh, reading through the various uh, posts on the Facebook group, um, there is one discussion, uh, I think it's important, where we have like an open discussion about the, uh, the kill uh, locking system on the Siren 17. Um, there have been a few incidents of people turtling their boats and uh, every single one is related to a kill that was not properly locked down. Um, there, there's nothing wrong with the stability of a Siren 17. Uh, this has to do with uh, the nature of like, swing kill boats and whether you have a Beneteau or some other boats uh, with a fully retractable keel, uh, those boats are designed to, to sail with a keel in a locked down position and uh, some manufacturers make a very um, very strong point in the owner's manual to that that it has the boat has to have the keel locked down basically so there is a few occasions where uh, it, it's possible to sail with the keel retracted you know you get a like, very light wind or you, you get to the beach and there's no wind or these kind of things um, but, but as a general rule, uh, unless you're absolutely certain that the wind is not going to be uh, changing, uh, you got to have that keel locked down. Otherwise, the boat loses stability, and if you happen to broach, uh, it's not going to come back up, and uh, it may actually go the other way with the mast all the way down um, toward the bottom. So you don't, you don't want to um, to be in that situation. Uh, for obvious, you know, safety reasons. Uh, so this is the one thing since I got my boat that I really researched and, uh, and I looked on the board for like solutions and to make that uh, pin locking uh, convenient and easy to do. So that, and, and that is one problem with the boat is that uh, as much as we like the boat, uh, the designers obviously didn't put too much uh, work on uh, making uh, locking the keel like really easy or especially on boats. Uh, where the hole is not like completely lining up uh, with the keel. I mean, there's like various issues with 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 this system uh, over time or when the boat is new or whatever. So, um, and I have to thank here uh, David Boardman, one of our members, um, for documenting a, a very good system uh, to make it really easy to lock the keel and uh, and make it completely. Uh, uh, seal proof uh, because this is one other issue is that uh, if the keel locking bolt is not properly sealed then you know you'll take on the water I um, mean the hole is, is above the water line but uh, still when you're like motoring or sailing you'll have water spitting out of this uh, quarter inch hole uh, from the keel bolt so David is using uh, <laughs> A pretty good system. Uh, it starts by uh, enlarging the um, existing kill pin hole uh, using a um, 5 8 uh, bit uh, with a small plier. And um, I would advise you get a, a very sharp brand new bit if possible. But it's a pretty easy operation to do. But you want to have a, a pretty nice hole made and make sure both holes on each side are lining up. And uh, then he's using this um, half inch to one inch uh, plastic coupler, which I think is used in gardening hose equipment or something like this. I mean, I managed to find one on the, on Amazon that uh, that's exactly the same type, basically. So you have to cut it and uh, shorten it, uh, especially on the on the kill trunk size, so uh, it doesn't stick out inside the kill trunk and get smashed by the keel so there's a precise cut to make uh, to make sure it's just going to be flush um, with the inside of the keel well and uh, then you know um, you apply compound like some kind of epoxy or some uh, or 3m 4000 uv uh, like he recommends uh, i use epoxy on mine and then um, you find a couple of um, rubber plugs to uh, seal the hole and uh, you're good to go. So anyone can understand better what I meant uh, with that fix. Um, basically, if you look at the, uh, the kill trunk, which I uh, did a drawing of here, um, one problematic area is 
this uh, red stuff here. Basically, this is, um, as, as you notice, the kill trunk is uh, enlarged where the, um, the kill bolt uh, pin is inserted. And this is filled up with, uh, looks like a particle board or some kind of really um, uh, uh, like soft wood. I mean, or, you know, wood that doesn't like water, basically. So what happened is that uh, as this hole get enlarged, and if you're not careful about sealing the um, locking pin, uh, often enough, if you have water kind of seeping in and out of your holes, water gets in here and that wood gets bad and rotten, and then you're going to weaken um, that part of the um, tr kill trunk that's supposed to be a reinforcement and uh, and eventually, you know, it will uh, it will weaken the whole assembly. So, with uh, David's modification, which I'm going to show you here, this is an enlarged version, basically just one side of the keel, one side of the keel. Um, so we're looking at this this area basically with with the uh, the coupler, the plastic coupler inserted. So you still have that uh, enlarged section of the kill trunk. But now the way the um, plastic, the PVC insert is cut, it comes like flush with the inside of the kill trunk. And if you put, uh, you know, good enough glue or epoxy, I use epoxy on mine, like special epoxy, marine epoxy that, that sticks to PVC, um, you're going to seal that area and no water should be able to come in the wood here, the soft wood. And here it's plastic, so, and then, you know, your pin is going to be inserted in and out of this hole here, uh, but no water should get in that part. So, and the hole is bigger than the original one. This is uh, a bit uh, close to half inch, I think. Um, this is about half inch on the keel as well, but the, the original hole in the keel trunk is only a quarter inch. So here, this hole is a little bigger, so, you know, your pin is going to go in and out easier. And then once you put the plug in, um, it will be waterproof and you don't need to tighten the pin, the, the pin with like wing nuts or whatever, because it will be captured basically between the, 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 the two sides. Um, so that's it. I hope it makes sense. So here it is on, on my boat. I just finished it. Uh, <clears throat> Yesterday, so basically, you know, the, the piece of pipe, uh, I did drill the, uh, the 5 8 hole to enlarge the original hole uh, using a brand new bit and a small pair of uh, pliers, uh, as in uh, uh, David's explanation. And, and it was pretty easy to go through that trunk. And uh, so now I have my, uh, and I, you know, I, I, I glued it with epoxy, with marine epoxy, and then I put a little piece of piece of Kevlar to reinforce uh, the pipe to make sure it doesn't like get uh, knocked out or, and if you look inside, and I don't know if we can see inside, but look, you can see the other side and you see a very nice kind of, uh, very nice hole with uh, plastic reinforcement. So let me show you how this, uh modification work. So I've made a couple pins. Um, I've got an aluminum one here. It's a very simple uh, piece of uh, aluminum rod and then I threaded a quarter inch uh, thread on it and put a bolt so you can just you know insert the bolt really easily into the kill and then I use these little plugs. Uh, I think they're called like bait plugs but they're like perfect for that. This is a three quarter inch plug size just snaps in here and snapped in here and now I have a completely seal proof uh, kill trunk and then when I want to remove the pin I can just open the plug open the plug here and then I just give it a little push here and it comes out because remember that hole is uh, is pretty generous here so I mean there's, there's quite a bit of play but you know it's plenty of I mean, not, not not enough to really prevent the kill from uh, locking. And um, I'm also also made some plastic bolts um, for you know shallow waters in rocky areas. If I'm you know really concerned about you know hitting something hard, you can use a, you can use a, a plastic bolt the same way. And um, then if you don't want to put the pin, 
uh, and seal the truck, you know, when you're at anchor or, you know, if you're like just, just motoring in the, you know, on the river or something like this, you can just, you know, seal the, uh, the car trunk really easy, easily. And uh, so I really like, uh, really like the system. I just need to do a little painting to finish it, but uh, that's going to last a long time and uh, it's going to really make my life much easier.